Hi, it's Zeno, our Log Princess. This is gonna be a what's in my bag for the Log Zip Liner in Heather Gray. This is the bag that I recently modified. I'll put a link right here for that video in case you haven't seen it. But what I did was I cut the little metal ring like this that was connecting the piece to the bottom and I inserted a quick release loop so that I can use it as designed by connecting that or I can release it and lengthen the straps that way, allowing it to be crossbody. So we're gonna give this a test ride in the new configuration. So the zip liner is a large handbag, I would say it's not extra large even though it's tall because it's not quite so thick, it's plenty big. But um, there you go, there's a bottom, it does have feet but no plastic on there, but it is still wipeable even with the Heather Gray material, which is kind of cloth-like. The front has pocket-on-pocket -pocket design with the zippers behind. Right behind that, you have a zipper pocket. This pocket is RFID, and there's no organization in it, but there you can see the interior pattern as well. Right above that, you have your phone pocket, and then on the back, you have another zipper pocket. This one has two pen slots in it, and no other organization. And it's roughly the same size as the front pocket in width, but it's a little bit deeper, as you can see where it falls on the bag, just slightly higher up, so um, yeah. Then on the side of the bag, on the one side, you also have an insulated compartment that you can use for snacks, a water bottle, um, or anything. It doesn't have to be used for insulated stuff, and we'll talk about that more when we get to packing. Inside the bag, you have two cargo elastic pockets, and opposite side, you have one privacy zipper pocket. And then um, you have a key bungee um, attached to the one side with a clip on the end. And on the opposite side, you can see what looks like another something here. That's the inside of the insulated pocket. So the more you fill the inside, the less you can fit in that pocket and vice versa. So they do share space for sure. But the rest of it is pretty accommodating. Uh, let me set this aside for just a sec. So in order to move in, we have to move out. Right now, I'm currently still using my Day Tripper um, Lighten Up Day Tripper backpack from Vera Bradley. This is in Firefly Garden. And so let's unpack it real quick. I've got my cell phone with a Bramble cover on it. I have, in this side, I have two bag charms hooked onto the, the drawstring here. They both have quick release. I have the Itty Bitty Backpack in Moonlight Garden, and I have the Itty Bitty Tote with, uh, I think it was Shore Thing, but anyways, the nylon thing with the turtle. Um, in here I have a mask, and in here I have a hand sanitizer. Nothing else in the mesh pockets. There is a bag tag on the back, which will just stay with the bag. Um, this pocket right here, the tech pocket, I don't have anything in. I did it one time during the Duration I've been using this bag, I have my iPad in there for out and about. And I also did put my big 15 month Erin Condren planner in there, and that was a great place for it. There is another big pocket vertical zipper on the front side right here, a little bit smaller than that back tech pocket. And in here, I just had my alcohol wipes in my Space Place Y pouch. So clean, clean. So that's it for those. In the very front, this was where I had my keys, but right now there's nothing in there. And I moved the keys more recently. I moved them into this pocket because it was just a big bundle. So it's easier to get them in and out from the bigger pocket because there's more. Uh, let's see, we have three Vera Bradley pens. We have a Moonlight Garden from the Planner Bonus Pack. We have a Splash Multi. And then we have Catalina Blue. In here we also have hand sanitizer spray times two in the glass bottles and another pen, that's my little space pen that you can write upside down. And that's it in that pocket. The main section has this clip. I found that I really didn't need to do up the drawstring. I just left the cover over it and it was fine. Um, an easy quick in and out actually. So you have this one slip compartment back here. So I had in there my headphones and my Erin Condren pocket planner. I have a brush and pencil case in midnight blues, which matches really well. I have my all-in-one in Firefly Garden. 
I have a mini cosmetic in Moonlight Garden, a Travel Takes mini cosmetic in, or mini dome cosmetic, Moonlight Garden, and a clamshell sunglass case in Midnight Blues. And then I had a Lighten Up Zip ID in Firefly Garden, a Moonlight Garden manicure kit, and a little notebook just blank pages. And that is everything from the inside of there. So we'll put that aside. Now let's look at some transition things. First of all, I always take sunglasses. I live in Arizona and I have light colored eyes so the sun can be brutal. So I grabbed a few other options to change to. I grabbed, you know, clamshell for clamshell. So I grabbed Holland Garden because it would match the Heather Gray a little better than the bold colors. Um, inside here I have sunglasses, which has like this blue-gray front clear and then the sides is, it's romantic paisley actually. So not so gray, but I do have that. And the inside of clamshell, of course, is too. Um, in this one I had mini medallion, so more Gara sunglasses. Uh, all right. So we got that, and then uh, alternatively, I grabbed a um, reader's clamshell case because sometimes the sunglasses fit in there as well, and it's just a slimmer profile. So one, let's see if they even fit, and I think they do. They do, let's see it closes fully. So it just gives you a slimmer profile option. Since this is a slimmer bag, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the slimmer option actually. Uh, the other option I brought out is the soft-sided one, and this is the squeeze-open kind from the factory style, and this is Chandelier Noir, and I thought also that would kind of match, you know, with the grays and blacks. So I might end up going that way, so we'll just set this aside for a moment. I do have the Holland Garden manicure kit, so that'll be a one-for-one -one swap. We'll pull out that one and put this one in. Um, I have a mask in here I just wore yesterday afternoon for five minutes, so I have that. That's in mini concerto. Uh, okay, so now let's look at some other tidbits. We've got the mask pouch in here. So in here I had Moonlight Garden, which was fresh and clean. So I'll just move that over. But the itty bitty tote can come out. And hand sanitizer we have just chillin' sparkling icicles. That one can stay in, I don't need to change that. But the bag charm is out. Um, I did grab another hand sanitizer, but I'm just gonna keep the one I have, so leave that alone. But bag charms and such, I grabbed a few things. So let me unclip all this stuff. So first thing I grabbed, I grabbed the keychain. This one is in Gramercy Paisley, but because it's the grays and blues and pinks, I thought that would match better with the Heather Gray than the current one. Um, so this one then comes out. I have all these things clipped for easy. <laughs> yeah. So that one is off. And I'm just gonna clip the keys together and use the, right now, I've got this coin purse on there and I'm just gonna leave it like that for finding it and keys are clipped together. So we'll leave those aside for a second. The phone obviously has to go in. But I also grabbed two pouches from Lug. So I have my Heather Gray coin purse. This one for sure is gonna go with me. And this is going to be my hand sanitizer. So take out the silica pouch, put my hand sanitizer in there. Fits very nicely with room to spare. So I'm gonna go ahead and put at least one mask in there for now because there's plenty of room for it in there also. So then I have at least one clean mask set aside. So that will go on the outside of the bag. I also grabbed my um, chapstick keeper. I don't think that's the name of it. I've forgotten the name of it, but this is from Stephanie Dawn in chambray pattern. So it just has chapstick, you know, a little chapstick. And I'm gonna clip that on the outside because man, I've been needing a lot of chapstick lately and that way I don't have to dig for it. Um, but I also grabbed the heart pouch from Lug. This also would be a great place to put masks. I don't want like 50 dangly things on the outside of my bag. Um, so I'll set it aside for the moment, but I do think that this brushed 
gray matches actually pretty well with the heather gray. So even though it's a different material and a different color, it actually goes very, very well with it. So I'll set that aside as a maybe as well. Okay, so wallets, let's talk wallets. So I have the all-in-one, which is a great grab and go option. I have it with the wristlet strap on it. Um, and I like that. So let's look at some options. I'm gonna go love bag, love wallet. And I have a bunch of options in matching. So let's start big to small. I grabbed the roundabout two, which is a valid option and does fit in the bag, um, but I don't really need this much. Um, it's much, much more than a wallet. It's basically to me a small purse. So I'm gonna say no to that because I just don't need that much. Um, but because I don't need that much, but it could still be an option, I grabbed the coupe in Heather Gray, which is a nice option. The coupe has just two pockets. The front one is plain and the back one has a zipper pocket and a clear ID window. So very simple. I might consider this one, but we're gonna keep going because I have other options. I have the tandem zip in Heather Gray as well. So more of a true wallet for a wallet or a wristlet. You can remove the wristlet strap as well. This one has a slip pocket on the front where you can put things, um, especially your phone. Inside, it's kind of like a book. You open it up and you've got two big flaps and lots and lots of card slots. And in the middle, you have a pen slot there. On the outside, you have your zipper coin slot. But I'm gonna put this aside because I already know it's not my first choice. Just showing you what my choices were. And they do all, before I put it too far away, let's see what fits in here. So in the front pocket, which is your RFID pocket, the tandem does fit very nicely, even with the strap. And it will not fit vertically, it, it hangs out, but, but horizontally you can. In the back pocket, because it is a little taller, you can actually fit it in there vertically. Um, and you just tuck that back, it will zip with it in there. So you have some options but the back pocket's not RFID, but the wallet is, so you, got, you have protection. Then I have the tram in Heather Gray, and this one is the snap front opening with all your card slots and ID window and a big cash drawer options up here. And then it has the zipper section, which has no organization inside, but great spot. And then a zipper on the back. My phone does not fit in here, that's okay, it's a wallet for the sake of wallet, not a wristlet or anything like that, so it's great. And it fits very, very nicely in this front pocket here with room to spare, and so you got RFID protection times two. And if it fits in the front, it fits in the back. But guess what? Not the wallet I am currently choosing because my probably my favorite lug wallet is the Splits XL. I think just, it's, most akin to my previous um, wallets before I discovered all these great brands. And so I don't know. I like that it has a wristlet. It's a grab and go option. I have my phone fits in it. It's fairly slim profile. It's kind of like accordion wallet style, but it's all secure and zipped in. And I like all of those features. It has the zipper coin thing on the back. And then inside, the front section opens up and lays flat. It has a pen slot, which I'm going to go ahead and put my space pen in there because it's a slim trim pen, but then I always have a pen in my wallet. Um, it has four card slots plus a clear ID window, and then you have a big slit behind it. That's usually my cash door section, but sometimes I put the cash up here because my phone fits there very, very nicely, but when I'm not using the phone, that slot is just easier to get in and out of for my cash because this one is all the way, it's just a little tighter spot. They both are great, but. So sometimes I use the upper as my cash drawer. And then the back section is your accordion style. You have two big slips right here, and then you have six card slots on each side. You have three here, three here, three here, and three more here, so 12 total. Opposite in the middle, you have three more, and you have three more on the other side as well. And this is also RFID right there. So lots of great options with space as well. And my phone does indeed fit in the back part, additional, additional options. 
So this is going to be the wallet I am going to switch into, but let's go ahead and put it in the bag now. I am going to put it in one of the slip pockets right up front because I think that's going to be a great place for it. Let me put it in the back one. Okay, phone is going to go in the phone slot. So we got that. This is actually not here. It's out because we're transitioning. Let's go ahead and hook the chapstick on here. And I think that the chapstick can actually go on the back one. Yeah, it's not that hard to clip actually. <laughs> okay, so we got that on there. And then on the front, I'm gonna put the hand sanitizer. And I'm clipping it to the main strap thing, not on the released part from the extended strap because I don't want to have it dropping down and whatnot. I want it to stay fixed at the higher height. So I might even go ahead and strap it through that loop as well. So that, that will hold that loop from dropping. Yeah, I might just do that. And the back one is a little farther down. So. Okay, so we got that. We got a notebook. All right, I did grab two lug pens. So I have Camo Ice and I have, I don't know the name of this one, but it has all of the names of Puddle Jumper bags on it and the background actually is kind of a gray color. They match very nicely with my Heather Gray and there's two pen slots. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put those right into them. Pen slot and pen slot. So those are right in the back pocket. And since the pens are there, I'm gonna go ahead and put the notebook there. I'm also gonna put my headphones there. And I'm also mm, gonna put the manicure kit there. And yeah, that's it for the moment. Yeah. I'm gonna put my planner in. Hmm. I'm gonna put my planner in the other cargo pocket. I'm gonna put my wipes in the front because it's slim profile and you always need to clean things. And I'm also gonna put the two hand sanitizers in the front, but I think I'm gonna put them in the pouch yeah this has extra masks in it so i'm going to go ahead and take those out get rid of the pouch i've got a bunch of masks plus extra filters so i'm gonna put the filters in here put those in the back i've got a holland garden mask that goes with the theme i've got santiago floral i've got bloom black and we don't need that many masks in here. So we'll take all those out, put these three in the pocket. So I have masks, mask filters, and extra hand sanitizer in one side. I've got Color Street samples in my zip ID, so I'm gonna take those out. And my sister's extra business card. And I'm just gonna put those in the pocket on pocket, I think. Love pocket or pocket. And yeah, these pens are out. Let's see. So things we need to repack. We've got oral stuff and a snack bar. And then we've got tech and miscellaneous. We'll, we'll go through the items as we repack them. Okay, so. That's it, it's really not that much. There's plenty of space in here. So let's talk about what we have here. First of all, we have wet ones, four single individual pouches. I think we're gonna put those in the pocket on pocket right up front on the COVID care side. So those are pretty well stacking up nicely. And since we have a pocket here, I'm gonna go ahead and make that my oral care. So I've got my extra lip balm, I've got my glucose tabs. I've got, well, that's not full care. Gum and mints. 
And I'm not going to take my breath strips. I'm just gonna take those out and put them in the basket. So that'll be perfect, just like that. Oh, no, one more thing. My um, dental floss toothpick things, those always, <laughs> you always need those. Okay, and we're not too overstuffed actually, it's pretty good. Okay, so we got all of that. And inside the back we have some space, but I think we're good. So we just need basically, we don't need anything, but we're gonna use a pouch. So let me set this aside for just a second. Pouch options for the remaining items. We got keys and we have a coin purse. So the coin purse, I already need I have a bunch of coins in here right now. So I'm actually gonna use the coin purse for coins. It's just so fun. It's like a little silicone coin pouch, but it's just, it fits your hand really nicely. Okay, and it matches because it's gray and white. Okay, I have a small essentials cosmetic type thing in chambray. This matches-ish, but it's more blue. It's a great size for this bag, but it's not gonna accommodate what I need, so it's out. We do have um, B-set options. This one is a mineral. We've got pebble. And I have also, uh, I think it's called Brain Matter, which is kind of a heathered gray material. So of the three, I think that that one would match the best. Let's look um, for sure. I think they all could go with it. But. So that is a possibility. And those are out. But speaking of pouches, I have lug pouches, lug for lug. Not always the case. I do like to mix and match. I go with what is best at any given time, and it may be matching brands, it may be cross brands. But I do have runway envelopes in this pearl gray. Pearl gray doesn't match as well, and sometimes the plastic sticks to plastic because we have two of these together. So at the moment, that's not my first choice, but only because I have a better choice. I have the transport envelopes in the gray, which is a direct match. So that would be the first choice. And these ones come in three sizes. So we do have some options here that can be accommodating for us. But before we pack up, we also have some Cindy stuff. We have this little clamshell mini cosmetic in Heather Gray. We have a Happy, which is a slim pouch in Heather Gray. And I also have a Vera Bradley Reactive Cosmetic in Heather Gray. The big piece is way too big. The smaller piece is potentially usable and does match. However, I'm going to go with the trimmer options and keep things slim and trim. So that's out. So there's one more option to consider, and that is the round trip. So lug pouches, again, lug for lug in the matching directly pattern. So the round trip is basically like a coupe. It has two zipper pockets, just like the coupe. The difference is the inside doesn't have any zipper pocket and no clear ID window. So they're just two plain pockets. So this could be um, the largest of the three pouches. The medium pouch is a vertical orientation, but it's just a pouch. Opens across the top and it's a straight pouch. Also very high probability. And then the smallest one, fits very perfectly inside those front pocket on pockets. Um, so that is great, although those are already full of something else right now, this is another great option. So, let's figure out what to do here. We got the bag, I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I do have a lug water bottle in Heather Gray, but it's the chuggy that came with the huggy, so it's the taller version, and the taller one is too tall for this pocket. Plus, I've not been carrying water in my bag. I have multiple bottles in my truck, so I, I'm good with that. So I'm just gonna take my keys and put those, that gaggle of stuff, in that outside pocket. So it's easily accessible. I always know exactly where they are, and there you go. And I'm not gonna poke inside because that is a robust insulated pocket. Uh, yeah, that's it for that. Uh, the coin purse, actually, I think I'm gonna take this keychain off of it. I do like the in the loop keychain. And I might, in fact, go ahead and clip that to the keys after all. Mm 
I'll put all that carabiner so that I have, like, if I grab all that and I run out somewhere. That's actually a great pocket for that. Um, but then I'm going to put this on the clip inside the key bungee. I'm going to clip that bungee to my coin, coin purse. So now my little coin purse can't get lost and I can find it very quickly. So yay. All right. So let's look again at what we have here. I think happy is out because we have love pouches that'll work. Let's start with Let's start with the small one. So the transport envelope. In the back, I'm gonna put the two hair rubber bands and a comb. So this is gonna be like my little cosmetic pocket of sorts. I have just a hand lotion. I'll put that in there as well. So that's in the back zipper. In the front part, I'm gonna make that my tech pouch. So I have my cord and a screen wipe. I have two external batteries because you never know, one might not be holding a charge. Okay, so already I can tell this isn't all gonna fit in here. So let me see. Let's try the medium pouch over here. Put the battery stuff in here, the charger in there, and the screen wipe. This is a pocket toddy, this is great. Just a, a screen wipe that folds up into its own little pocket and it's microfiber. And then I braided up a little leash for it. <laughs> it doesn't need it. But... Okay, I think I'm going to put all that in there and just leave the cord in here with the other screen wipes. That is fine. That'll work. So I've got two little pocket pouches, and they're just going to go right in the middle of the bag here. And that leaves one more thing. Well, two things. Sunglasses and a snack bar. So the snack bar can go right in this back zipper pocket so that there's always gonna have something on the run that's a healthy option. Yeah, so got all this can go aside, aside, aside. So we just need sunglasses now. So hard or soft, I think maybe soft because it matches better and I don't need a lot of hefty protection. It's also lighter. And I'm just going to put this inside with my, yeah, inside, just inside. So inside here, we have, um, in the zipper pocket, we have that meal replacement bar. I've got my small transport. I've got in front of that my sunglasses. In the cargo pouch in front of that is my organizer, my planner, I mean. And then on the other part, you have down here that small round trip pouch. And in the pocket, I have my wallet, the Splits XL in there. And that's all that's on the inside. So it's actually very nicely sized. On the outside, we have our coin purse and my chapstick. And let's stay floated around the front there. And then crossbody option. Ta-da! Very, very happy with that. It is a little bit heavy. It's not overstuffed. It's just got a little weight to it, but very comfortable. Wearing it on my hip like that. So yay, I'm really happy. Easy access, I can see everything. Perfect. And that is what's in my bag. I'll get back to you with a report at the end of the week or so when I change bags again on how I'm liking this modified crossbody option. But thanks for watching. Washi washi.